Do you know how to properly reset the ball? Because for a long time, I didn't. Pickleball lovers, please leave your comments, please subscribe, and don't forget to have a good day. This was not a good day for me. This is the finals of a big tournament. I'm in the near right hand corner, and I had a horrible day because I did not know how to reset the ball. Yep, that's my paddle. And look how many bad things I did. I jumped backwards. I'm in a bad ready position. I tried to swing on the ball. My handle did snap. I did send it back. There are three main things that you have to think about when you reset. One, the angle of the paddle. If it's a little lower, obviously you're gonna have to make that angle a little higher. It's geometry 101, people. <laughs> Two, hand strength grip. If the ball's coming really fast, you want really light hands because it's gonna absorb some of the power. It's not gonna pop up as much. Three, the lift on the ball. If you're back a little farther in the court, you might have to give it a little more power or lift on the reset so it goes perfectly at your opponent's feet near the kitchen. This is Gary Galt. It's a perfect reset. He's not gripping the paddle too tight. The angle of the paddle is perfect. It's a little tilted, 45 degrees. I would probably say maybe 30, who knows? I do know it was a perfect reset. So when I'm practicing resets, I like to use the Slam Master Pro. Why do I like to use it? Because there's no other tool on the market that does this. You can take a look at the link, use Pirates 10% off. If you don't want it, it's not a big deal. So I'm resetting the ball, right? It's, if it's coming slower, I want a little more firmer grip on the ball. I want to get low. I want a really athletic stance, right? Because I got to be low for that ball. So if it's coming faster, loosen up the hand grip pressure so you absorb more power. Here we go. This can be a little crazy. See that athletic stance. I'm not swinging too hard at the ball. And here it is in slow motion. Notice I'm watching the ball hit the paddle. For a number of years, I did not do this. And let's look at Christian. He looks a lot like me doing this in a tournament. Here it is right here. Look at him reset this. It's a perfect angle, perfect trajectory. He recognizes that he hits a very good reset and he gets in so quickly. Defense to offense, that's what resets do. Very athletic stance, right? And he keeps that paddle low to the ground. Backhands, like Gary Gold said, I like to keep two hands on the paddle if it's really low. This gives me a lot more support. Oh, getting good, baby. Getting good. Angle should be a little higher if it's coming a little lower. I literally did this for an hour in my house this morning. I don't need friends to practice, and that's what I like about the Slam Master. Now let's look at Simone. She's playing a tournament at Clear One, and it looks pretty similar, right? She gets low. The angle of the paddle is about 30 degrees, I would say. She jumps back quickly, but she's not falling back when she's hitting the reset. I can't stress that enough. Let's look one more time. She does jump back quickly, but she is really grounded when she's hitting that. She's starting that paddle low. And here is Jordan Briones. Go to Briones Pickleball, but he hits beautiful resets. And watch what he says about the reset. Very interesting. I'm going to try to adjust my grip pressure, how much I help it over, okay? My paddle angle. And now I'm making adjustments based on how how fast and the pace that that ball is coming at me okay here we go this is very interesting so the three things that affect the reset are the pedal angle the push lift on the ball and the grip pressure that's all that should be affecting a reset and that's what i'm saying that's what jordan brionis is saying and that's what simone and gary gold are doing so if the ball's coming really hard the grip pressure probably should be a three that way you can absorb some power this is just genius. Good job, Joey. Good job, Jordan. Well, lovers, do you agree with me that this is the right resetting technique? Please leave your comments. Please subscribe because here at the Pickleball Pirates, we may love pickleball just as much as you do. I know that's tough to believe.